Damage. Welcome back to Inside Louisiana Athletics. I'm your host, Lauren Hill, and here's what you missed. Women's basketball extended their win streak to five after going 2-0 on the road this past week, defeating South Alabama 74-42 and Texas State 55-50. Nubia Benedith had a career-high 13 points against the Jaguars, while Tamara Johnson had 15 points against the Bobcats, recording her fourth straight game in double figures. The Cajuns will return to the Dome to close out the regular season tonight, where they play South Alabama at 6 p.m. and Southern Miss on Friday at 5 p.m. Track and field returned from the Sunbelt Conference Indoor Championship with some hardware and new records in the book. The men's team finished third overall, marking the fourth straight year they have finished in the top three. Tyron Hanna took first overall in weight throw with the mark of 19.26 meters, as Kennedy London was on top of the podium in the 60 meters hurdles with the school record tying time of 8.27. Isabel Russell recorded the second fastest 3,000 meter in school history with a time of 10.01.39, Lauren Roberts recorded the second highest pole vault in school history after clearing 12 feet in 8 and 3 fourth inches. 17 Cajuns finished in the top five throughout the meet. Baseball secured an 11-3 win over McNeese this past week before closing out the series against Rice with the 3-0 win. Carson Fluno pitched five innings and struck out six batters to help the Cajuns secure the victory. The Cajuns will stay at the Teak for a midweek matchup against Northwestern State on Wednesday at 6 p.m. before traveling to Houston for the Astros Foundation College Classic, where they will play sixth-ranked Vanderbilt on Friday at 3.05 p.m. Men's basketball should return to the Dome and look to turn things around for the final week of the regular season. The Cajuns came up short on the road, falling to ULM 66-59 and Southern Miss 82-71. Brandon Hardy matched a career-high 13 points against the Warhawks, and Joe Charles recorded a career-high 23 points against the Eagles. They will face Troy on Wednesday at 7 p.m. and Southern Miss on Friday at 7.30 p.m. Known for having a tough preseason schedule, softball had a 9-3 midweek win against Louisiana Tech before the Cajuns battled against 12th ranked Stanford and number two Texas and defeated Colorado State 4-2 at the Lone Star Invitational. Sam Landry recorded her second complete game of the season against the Rams after carrying a shutout into the seventh inning. They will travel up the road to play Nichols tonight at 6 p.m. before heading to Norman, Oklahoma to compete in the Oklahoma tournament beginning Friday versus Miami, Ohio at 5 p.m. Women's tennis player Carla Oshuega was named Sunbelt Player of the Week this past week as she was undefeated on court one with a pair of singles wins and a doubles win against SFA and Mississippi State. Men's tennis is back in the ITA rankings at number 72. They return to the Cajun courts this Friday for a match against Charlotte at 3 p.m. And finally, golf is currently playing in the Lake Las Vegas Intercollegiate and will finish up tomorrow. The Cajuns will host Louisiana Classic starting March 11th and 12th. That's all we have for this week. I'll see you all next time, and as always, go Cajuns!